Okay, since this is my first video with sound, and maybe some of you have been watching this already, um, this is my first video with sound, and a new video card enables me a longer video for YouTube. Now those are Tiger Stripes melons. Got a cucumber and a cantaloupe. We have cherry beans, okra. The okra coming in. Mm. Big as your thumb nearly, I guess, around. Again, the same thing on this side. I needed some more ridgeability, if that's a word, as these were hanging down over the sidewalk. And there's my temporary scaffolding. Again, cucumbers. Pretty good cucumbers out here, uh, but certainly better than having them laying on the ground. I thought. Okay, we salted the pool today for the fish, as they were showing signs of flashing, and I guess that's some sort of parasite, or they're tremendously happy. I don't know. Some tomatoes. I believe that's a German queen. Uh, this table went in on the 24th of April. I'm sorry, May. Um, I got the gravel on the 27th, so the plants were in here probably on the 30th, something like that. And they were all hothouse starts. So, except for the carrots, which I started in uh, Rockwell cubes. Um, also, the radishes that you see tossed out here and all the way down there. Um, those two are uh, from seed. You can see a cherry tomato, or I'm sorry, a cherry pepper down there, and a couple jalapenos. Let's go and get close to those. Now look there. Poor nutrition on that one. Some bad leaves, I guess. I should have pruned it. Sorry for the jump and jutter. The cherry pepper. Those are not finished cherry peppers. More are not finished cherry peppers. And even more. So I'm quite happy with cherry pepper production off this little plant, which I guess is going to be a vine and not actually a tree or bush. I didn't know. Kind of hard to tell everything's so big. So this table is only about a month and a half old. regular pea gravel inside each bed. The one-third horse Honda pump set to run free flow. The water pumps into the far end down there and drains back here. Right there. I have the beds turned off right now because I want to really salt the fish heavy because of their issues. So I have the beds off but they can't stay off too long as you'll pro promote some sort of uh, anaerobic something or another, something or another. Um, I'd like to use this video to also shout out to all the individual groups of friends that uh, I have. Uh, Marine Corps guys, Semper Fi fellows, you know who you are, Phil and y'all. Say hey to you. The folks who just aren't right, folks. Uh, Shout out to you guys. Ron Paul people. Look, there's a head in there. A head in there. As you can see, the bugs have left me very little to work with. The reason why is the catfish 
by the way, that's what's in the tank, 200 catfish. Um, anything that goes in these beds, pesticide-wise, or fertilizer, will be in that tank in about five minutes and probably kill every fish in it. So I guess the theory is grow more than the bugs can eat. So I'm basically sharing with the bugs. Okay, my Freeman folks, I'd like to say a shout out to you guys. Auntie and all you guys and Robert Menard. Folks that are working to free themselves from the UCC or already have. Shout out to you guys. Uh, the survivalists, of course. Shout out. Uh, the 2112 Big Rock guys, or 2012 Big Rock guys. So shout out to you guys. Sorry about that noise. So that's just about it. I'm just introducing myself, signs it, um, as my first video with sound. Uh, let me show you here, this is what happens. The pump pumps up, comes along this line. Of course, it splits down at the pump to the other table also. But for example, pumps up this line here, wraps the bed on the outside. Then I have it shunted right now, but if I open it, of course, it will flow into the bed. Since it's closed, it just wraps right around. To see the lines open. Ramps right around. To here. Which is creating my circulation. So I have the option of continuing to circulate the pond, this time with salt in it, um, and not flood the beds. Or flood the beds and uh, retard the amount of water that actually misses the beds. Oh, well, that's cool. There is nature going all over this thing. Let's see, can I see that? Can you get that spider? There's a lot of nature going on here. Where is this spider? This is hard to get. Can't see it. Okay, well this bed's nothing to brag about. Um, like I said, the bugs are chewing it up. Those are collard greens. Um, if they ever turn green, I don't know. Um, again, collards. Uh, okra. Oh, and the leaf lettuce. I have taken quite a bit of leaf lettuce. If you cut it, it grows back. Shocking. Just don't cut it too deeply. But it's good chow. A lot of flavor in it. And, of course, because no pesticides or anything, if you have a problem looking at uh, ants, I mean, there are ants, but they do good things. So, But as you can see... I'm not afraid. We'll just eat this. Hope you saw that. Hope it wasn't too gross. Alright, that's it. I'm scientific. I appreciate you looking at my garden. Um, it's a self-sustaining uh, garden. All I need to do is find a way to get rid of the electric power company and we're good to go. I'm thinking a piece of land with a creek. And I could divert the creek temporarily, run the water through, take the water that I need to grow what I need, to raise what I need, fish-wise, and then uh, put the water back into the creek. Just kind of divert it a little. It, it may even be cleaner when I'm done with it, based on what the plants take out of it. So I would be helping creeks. The issue is being self-sustaining, self-supportive, because what is this? Codex? Alimetrius or whatever? Mm -mm, it's not good. They're going to start to regulate and redefine what health means. Oh no. So they could say, oh, you Americans are too healthy. Or you Australians are too healthy. You need to share. You need to give up. You need to do more. Can you see that pepper? Let me see how this thing zooms. Uh, excuse me, this is just totally trial. This will work very well about this. The tripod, the light sinks down. Pull back up. See how long it takes to keep right again. Just terrible. Okay. 9.39, 9.40. Nine minutes of me babbling. Oh my god. I feel bad this is my first video. Thanks.